After leaving California, SpaceX has made Florida a key hub, achieving major success with its Falcon launches. Now a massive new project in Cape Canaveral is set to elevate the site, not just as a Falcon base, but as a pivotal location in SpaceX's Mars ambitions. What are they building? Let's find out. SpaceX is planning to build a giant gigabay for Starship, right at Cape Canaveral, Florida. The first hint of this facility came when SpaceX COO Gwyn Shotwell mentioned plans for a third megabay-type facility at Starbase during a local presentation in Boca Chica. However, the earliest indication that this facility would be named Gigabay surfaced on November 26, 2024, with the release of a job listing for an MEP construction engineer, Gigabay. At the time, it was speculated that the Starbase Gigabay would be located in the area currently occupied by High Bay and the Stargate building, with drilling activities taking place nearby. However, on January 22, 2025, new FAA documentation revealed that the Gigabay is actually planned to be constructed at SpaceX's Roberts Road facility. The filing also indicates that the tower would be 380 feet tall, which would be taller than the current Megabay. This is necessary to build Starship 5-3, which is much taller than the current two versions. The filing also reveals that the tower would reach a height of 116 meters, surpassing the current Megabay. This increased height is essential for accommodating Starship 5-3, which is significantly taller than the two existing versions. We know that Elon not only wants to make Starship taller, but also wants to increase its diameter. So, in addition to being taller than existing bays, the Gigabay will also be much wider. Looking at the marked location where it will be built, the Gigabay will be large enough to stack multiple boosters and Starships in it at once. Construction of Gigabay is set to begin on April 1st this year and be completed by August 2nd next year. While this timeline is longer than the seven months it took to build Megabay 2, it's understandable given the project's scale and complexity, as well as the advanced equipment that will be installed. Additionally, the timeline accounts for the preparation of infrastructure and materials. A project of this magnitude can only be completed so quickly by SpaceX whose remarkable construction speed continues to impress. To date, Starbase remains the primary and sole site for the construction, development, and testing of Starships. But it will soon replace the Falcon rocket as SpaceX's main vehicle thanks to its versatility. When that happens, Starship will have a launch intensity equal to, or even greater than, the current Falcon 9. I would not be surprised if we fly 400 Starship launches in the next four years," SpaceX President and Chief Operating Officer Gwyn Shotwell said at the Barron Investment Conference in New York in November. Given the high frequency of launches, Starbase alone would struggle to keep up with the required manufacturing and launch pace. SpaceX has long chosen Florida to solve this problem. SpaceX has long been constructing a launch tower at Cape Canaveral but progress was stalled for a while as the team awaited the testing results of the Starbase version. However, after two successful tests, the system's effectiveness was clearly demonstrated during the successful takeoff and landing of Starship. This is also not the only launch tower they will build here. In May, Musk took to social media to announce that SpaceX plans to build two Starship launch towers at Cape Canaveral, Florida. However, the site for the second tower is still under review, he wrote. We're aiming to build two towers at the Cape for Starship, one at 39A and another to be determined. We don't have final approval yet. SpaceX is steadily advancing its Starship project, with the newly constructed Gigafactory in Florida set to streamline mass production of the vehicle once it receives certification. But why did Elon choose Florida? because the region offers unique advantages that other locations simply can't match. Cape Canaveral is ideally situated for rocket launches due to its geographic location, which maximizes the benefits of the Earth's rotation. The linear velocity of the Earth's surface is highest at the equator, 
and the relatively southerly position of the Cape allows rockets to launch eastward in the same direction as the Earth's rotation, giving them an added boost in speed. Additionally, the surrounding area is sparsely populated, making it safer in the event of an accident, with the ocean offering an ideal downrange area. The east coast of Florida also holds logistical advantages over other potential launch sites. Another big reason Elon chose this area was its political potential. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is a supporter and is willing to help out in the development of space exploration rockets. In May 2023, he signed the Spaceflight Entity Liability Bill, or CS-SB-1318. This law shields companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin from legal liability in the event that crew members or passengers are injured or killed during space missions. The bill now mandates that crew members and passengers acknowledge the risks of spaceflight by signing a waiver that includes the following statement. Warning. Under Florida law, there is no liability for an injury to or death of a participant or crew in a spaceflight activity provided by a spaceflight entity if such injury or death results from the spaceflight activity. The waiver also outlines that injuries could include damage to land, people, equipment, and animals, as well as the potential for individuals to act negligently in a way that could contribute to their own injury or death. This law helps SpaceX significantly reduce the risks and legal hurdles the company will face when conducting Starship flights especially since launching Starship every day is the company's ultimate goal. In addition to supporting space exploration, DeSantis has a very positive view of the SpaceX founder. When Elon Musk first floated the idea of buying Twitter in early 2022, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was one of many Republicans who publicly supported the tech billionaire's bid to take control of a social media platform that conservatives had long seen as hostile to their views. The governor threatened to rally the country's third largest state against Twitter's board if they refused to sell to Musk, he said in April 2022. We're going to be looking at ways that the state of Florida potentially can be holding these Twitter board of directors accountable for breaching their fiduciary duty, so stay tuned on that. In response to Florida's enthusiasm, Elon Musk has repeatedly lent his support to both the state and Governor DeSantis. When Hurricane Ian devastated the region, Musk's SpaceX partnered with DeSantis' administration to provide vital satellite internet service to areas in southwest Florida, still without connectivity. Over 100 of SpaceX's powerful Starlink satellite receivers are deployed across the hardest-hit counties, including Lee, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, and Hardy as DeSantis announced during a press conference. We are working with Elon Musk and Starlink Satellite. They are positioning those Starlink satellites to provide good coverage in southwest Florida and other affected areas, DeSantis said. Political analyst Brian Crowley analyzed the relationship between Musk and the Florida governor and said, there are two ways of looking at this relationship. One is that it's a purely political relationship and the other is that it's a business relationship, and frankly, it might be a combination of both. This relationship brings significant benefits to both SpaceX and Florida. Florida's support streamlines SpaceX's ability to manufacture and launch rockets, helping the company meet its goals more efficiently. In return, SpaceX's rocket launches will draw tourists, while major expansions like the upcoming Gigabay will generate thousands of jobs, providing a substantial economic boost to the state. Florida's SpaceX influence growth will be a splash of cold water on California's government. Elon moved to California at a young age, where he went on to found several groundbreaking companies, including SpaceX. However, the state government does not seem to be very supportive of SpaceX, especially Governor Gavin Nelson, who has a history of not being very positive toward Elon Musk. Governor Gavin Newsom has faced widespread criticism following the recent historic wildfire in California that claimed 24 lives. Among his critics was Elon Musk, who shared a post on X from the right-wing account Libs of TikTok, which blamed Newsom for not investing in water storage and reservoirs. 
Musk added his own commentary, calling the situation crazy. Additionally, California officials have come under fire due to reports of empty fire hydrants during firefighting efforts. In response, Newsom has called for an independent investigation to determine the cause of this issue. Governor Newsom responded to Elon Musk's criticism by sharing a clip from a live stream in which Musk is seen meeting with the fire command team during the Palisades fire. In the clip, Musk inquires about water availability, mentioning he had heard of a shortage in the Palisades, but not in Malibu. A firefighter in the video clarified that the issue wasn't a lack of supply, but rather that the system couldn't handle the volume of water being pumped. Newsom fired back on X, writing, at Elon Musk exposed by firefighters for his own lies. Trump has also been criticizing Newsom, calling him incompetent, and claiming that the governor had blocked allowing water to flow to Southern California out of concern about the impact on a threatened fish. In a Wednesday post on his Truth Social platform, Trump said, one of the best and most beautiful parts of the United States of America is burning down to the ground. It's ashes, and Gavin Newsom should resign. This is all his fault. Earlier that day, he wrote, Governor Gavin Newsom refused to sign the water restoration declaration put before him that would have allowed millions of gallons of water, from excess rain and snow melt from the north, to flow daily into many parts of California, including the areas that are currently burning in a virtually apocalyptic way. Governor Nelson denied Trump's accusation and criticized Trump's response, posting on X. People are literally fleeing. Kids have lost their schools. Communities have lost their churches. Families have lost their homes. Some have even lost their lives. And the president-elect's response is to politicize it. President Donald Trump has always been Elon Musk's strongest supporter. He shared his vision for America's future in space exploration emphasizing that, unlike the focus on the moon, his goal, echoing the aspirations of his favorite rocket man, is to target Mars as the country's next destination. We will pursue our manifest destiny into the stars, launching American astronauts to plant the stars and stripes on the planet Mars, he said. During Trump's first term, the Republican president launched the Artemis program to return astronauts to the moon as a stepping stone toward reaching the red planet. Yet even then he questioned whether the moon was truly essential for America's space ambitions. Trump's election has brought huge economic benefits to Elon. Tesla's market cap soared past $1 trillion, and Musk's personal fortune surged to over $300 billion right after Trump's victory. Investors are betting that Musk's companies will benefit from their access to Trump with good reason to believe that even U.S. foreign policy could be shaped to serve these corporate interests. Musk has been appointed to a potentially influential position as the head of the Department of Government Efficiency, a loosely defined non-governmental body tasked with auditing the entire federal government. Meanwhile, as Trump reasserts his foreign policy in the early days of his return to office, Musk has positioned himself as a central figure in Trump's informal diplomatic efforts. Of course, it's no coincidence that the SpaceX founder received this favor from the sitting president. Billionaire Elon Musk devoted considerable personal time and invested at least $260 million in support of Donald Trump's presidential campaign. And clearly, that massive investment paid off. With the president's backing and state incentives, SpaceX could fast-track its Starship project by establishing Florida as the second manufacturing and launch site of this vehicle, following Texas. The foundation has been set, and the people who will shape America's future are now on board the same ship, the ship to Mars,